going to go over our update data set process and this process is for when you've imported a spreadsheet yet you want to go back to Excel make changes in Excel and have that information reflected in your pro uh, your map project so the first thing I'm going to do is bring in my map data I'm going to walk through and grab my spreadsheet with my information that I want to bring in click open and I'll click next as I'm bringing this data in I'm going to reflect back to my Excel spreadsheet uh, just so we can see what we're looking at. So in this, I have all the information that I have to, to plot my data, and I also have this unique ID column. This unique ID column is vital for using our update data set process. So just go ahead and create a column, throw in a header of unique ID, and then just give unique values next to each of your entries. It could be one through a thousand if you wanted to. Um, it, they could be customers. As long as those customer numbers don't repeat itself, that's great. Once we have that unique ID, we'll go ahead and bring in the data and just the wizard will walk you right through. Once you get to the select more data columns page, you want to pause and make sure that your ID column is identified correctly. Because I have the word ID, the program is able to figure it out. And so I'm good to go and I can click plot. Uh, I'm going to not go through this whole process as far as uh, what I'm going to do next, but I'm going to just use our color code with symbols to quickly uh, color code my points on the map. And I'm going to just do it by a column that I have called customer type and I'm going to just click done. And so now I have these points differentiated on the map based on this column of my spreadsheet that's uh, called customer type. So I have house accounts, affiliate referrals, customer referrals, and so on. And so I'm going to use this for our uh, uh, update data set process just so we can see those changes. So I'm going to take a look now at one entry called Tim's Computers. So Tim's Computers is an orange dot so that means it's from our summer cam campaign and it's called Tim's Computers, and we've done 30,000 in sales. And if we look at the classification down the line, we can see it's part of our summer campaign. I'm gonna change information in my Excel spreadsheet and have those changes reflected in the program. Once we're done, this uh, dot will change as well. So I'm gonna go back to Excel, change the name, because uh, now Tim is selling furniture. I'm gonna change the sales, maybe it was a bad, month we change it down to 5,000 and I'm going to change summer campaign to house account. So now I will save the changes in Excel and jump back to the program. So now to make those changes automatically reflected I'm going to go to my point layer list in my map and data box. I'm going to click on the little settings gear and I'm going to look for this button that says update data set. The program is going to look back to that original data set and see that we have one location that needs updated and it's going to click done. Now we can see that it reflects uh, Tim's computers and furniture, 5,000 in sales, and we changed it to a house account and under customer type. So now, because I've already classified it, we can see the house accounts are red. So it went from orange to red. Uh, with update data set, a couple notes. Uh, you can update either rows or columns. So feel free to throw in additional columns into your spreadsheet and have that changes reflected. Uh, this information does update data set process does not apply to a territory. So if you've imported a territory file, uh, it's you can't update the data set to change the colors of the territories. It's just going to be for a point layer. Uh, if you have any questions, please reach out. Uh, you can always get a hold of us through phone and email. Uh, otherwise, have a great day.